Hey, Justine Ramey of Toto's Translator Dog Training in Indianapolis. Uh, today I am out with Max. It is um, like 50 degrees in February and we are um, on his last day of board and training in three weeks with me um, because he has a serious fear or had a serious fear of people, um, serious barking, carrying on, etc. Um, now, today we are outside because I want to show you guys how to flirt bowl. Max is highly intelligent, very athletic, and very driven. He is a four-month-old American Eskimo puppy. Now, um, if you have a dog like him, athletic, smart, um, just about any dog could benefit from this. But, for example, my most athletic pit bull um, could walk probably eight miles and come home and still want to play a little bit. Uh, I do 15 minutes of flirt pull with her and she goes inside and lays down and takes a nap. So just about every dog could benefit from this. Now it is athletic, um, fully physical, full force, and um, so that means that if you have a dog prone to hip dysplasia or with joint issues or if you have a young puppy that's still growing, you want to go easy on them when you do this. No really tight turns, no fast turns. Um, also, when you first start doing the flirt pull, I highly recommend you go outside and practice yourself first, um, just so that you don't trip. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Now, Max is on a long line because his family doesn't have a fenced-in yard, um, so he'll have to be on leash until he's reliable off, and he's a puppy, so I don't recommend being off leash until um, far into adulthood when they're 100% reliable. So he's out, um, we're in an empty lot in my neighborhood um, so that he can practice feeling the weight of the leash while we do this. So um, this is mental and physical exercise and that's why it's going to be so beneficial. So once your dog can handle adding in obedience, do it. You're gonna burn way more energy than you ever did without it. Let me show you. Um, so I have this really fancy selfie stick that I stuck in the ground to do this video. Um, so give me just a second while I get you guys all set up. Maybe. Maybe. Downside of a note eight. I can do all of my work on it, but get it fit to fit into a uh, one size fits all thing. Okay, so actually I'm going to tilt you up for just a second. Let me show you the flute bowl. What's up, Max Attack? We have a PVC pipe, and I have the rope comes through this end with duct tape. There's our rope, and then a dog toy on the end. So you can literally make this for like $10. I'm not kidding. Um, you can buy them online or find them at Pet People here in Indianapolis on the north or south side. So let me show you. Um, actually, I am going to grab his long line so the selfie stick doesn't get caught up. Okay, Max. Ah. Good. Stay. Stay. Just ready for the next step. Drop it. Thank you. Just gonna get that bar. Yeah. Okay. Good thing we have a bath on the schedule, huh? Ooh. Stay. Look. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you see he jumps the gun on the stay, and I will put him back into it. Oh, I pop my flirt pole, catch the rope, the rope toy, put him back. 
back in a stay. Arr, arr, arr. And uh, <laughs> so you guys practice. If you need help with this, give me a call. I'd be more than happy to show you how. All right. Have a nice day.